Welcome to my Dance 420 Weed Review. Hey, how are you all doing out there? Boy, it sure feels good to be back. I hope you all had an amazing holiday, and I hope, more importantly, hope that all of your new year is off to a fantastic start. Of course, I'm excited to be here to do my first weed review in 2024. Lots of new exciting things coming up. Before we jump into today's weed review, let me just talk a little bit about that. 2024, I not only plan to do more weed reviews and, of course, more 420 product reviews, but I plan to get back to doing more recipes. Remember when I used to do a ton of recipes during the pandemic? Well, I'm going to get back to doing some more recipes, although unlike the recipes that I was doing during the pandemic, I'm going to do more 420 friendly type of recipes. I'm going to teach you all how to make some butter, some gummies, and some other amazing things. So I'm excited to share that with all of you. Not only that, but I'm also excited to do some new 420, uh, just 420 videos for all of you. Man, I talked about that a lot in 2023. And unfortunately, I just wasn't able to get any new um, projects done. But I've already got a couple ideas in mind and 2024 will be the year that we will have some new videos in that section as well. So super excited. Of course, I wanna take a quick moment and thank you all for hanging out with me today, checking out my latest video. Of course, it means a lot to me. Much love to all of you out there. So with that said, shall we go ahead and jump into our first uh, review of 2024? I say let's do it. All right. Well, our very first strain of 2024 that we are going to take a look at is coming from the medical side, and it is called Strawberry Gary. Now, Strawberry Gary is a cross between uh, Gary Payton. Now, that's a strain that I have done a review on in the past, and let me tell you, that was a really good strain. If you haven't already checked out that video, of course, I encourage you all to take a moment to check out that video as well as all of my other reviews. But anyway, this strain is a cross between that Gary Payton and Red Pop. Red Pop is one I have not had before, but it definitely sounds interesting. Um... What else can I tell you? Now, uh, Strawberry Gary, according to my packaging, says that it is a hybrid, so that means that it should be a 50-50, 50% sativa, 50% indica. Although what I was reading online prior to doing my review is that some sites have this listed as a sativa dominant hybrid, where other sites have this listed as an indica dominant hybrid. No sites had this listed as a pure hybrid. So not sure whether or not this is a true hybrid or whether it's indica or uh, sativa dominant. Of course, as we smoke a little more of this, we'll see what the effects are and we'll talk about that as we go. Uh, average THC levels for this strain, that was something I wasn't able to find out online. Uh, but I did find a website that was selling this strain and they had it listed at 31% THC levels, which is not bad, not bad at all. Um, where does my batch compare with that? Of course, it's, you know, we don't know what the average is, but where does my batch fall in? Well, according to my bottle, we're coming in at 20.9%. So almost 10% or 10 points difference between what that online site was selling it for. Um, so interesting. But you know, I've said this before and I will say it again. Never focus on the numbers. Never let that be your determining factor on which strain that you're going to try. Use your common, your common knowledge, your common sense. Look at the strain. Does it look good? Does it smell good? Um, if it has a lot of crystals on it, then those are the attributes that you're looking for. And if it does, you know what? I personally never pay that much attention to the THC levels when I'm picking the strains that I'm going to smoke. I, it's always based on what they look like and what they smell like. Um, so that's what I encourage everybody else out there to do. But anyway, um, again, my, my batch that I have is coming in at 20.9%. Um, what else can I tell you? Well, rather than talking more about this strain, let's take a closer look at it, shall we? Of course, I've got some nugs right here. Look at this nice monster. Oh, doesn't that look really good? Take a look at those nice orange hairs on that thing. Of course, you've got some nice light green, green leaves. And you all see it, right? Come on. I don't have to say it, do I? Because you all see it, right? It's, it's all over this nug. Or they're all over this nug. What is it? 
crystals. That's right. Look at all those crystals on that nug. Now that looks pretty good in my opinion. We're going to grab this smaller one right here and we're going to bust it open. Take a look on the inside. Oh, before we actually bust that open, let's talk about the uh, density of this thing, shall we? Um, it's, it's a little bit dense. It's not rock hard dense. But it's definitely got some density to it. Um, it's a little bit on the dry side, but I have had this for just under a week since I actually picked it up uh, and from now to doing this review. So it is a little bit dry. I don't remember if it was quite this dry when I bought it. But anyway, um, that's the consistent or condensity or density of it. Man, I can't talk today. Um, as we bust that thing open, take a look at those crystals on the inside. Can you see them? Oh, they're all over. You can see them even sticking to my fingers right there. Looks really good to me. Smell-wise, let's talk about the smell. First of all, let me just say about the smell. I could smell it when I was busting it open to show you all what it looked like on the inside. It has got a very potent smell to it. <sighs> Before I tell you what I think it smells like, what I read online is it should have a sweet, a creamy, a gassy, and a fruity smell to it. I tell you what, I am definitely getting a fruity smell. It smells really sweet. Yeah, they mentioned sweet, fruity. I don't know about creamy. I'm not sure what creamy smells like, but um, it definitely has got a really good uh, odor to it. Like I said, and it's really strong. As I was breaking it up, I could smell it all the way over here. Oh, oh yeah, that smells really good. Almost uh, choked there for a minute. But anyway, smell-wise, looking really good, of course. You know, we want to get to some of the bigger questions here, right? What does it taste like? What are the effects? How many tokes does it take until you start to feel those effects? Well, let's jump into that right now. Of course, I've, as always, I have got the world famous purple pipe packed with some of this loaded. I've got the Guns N' Roses bong loaded up off to the side. So we're going to take a couple of tokes out of the pipe as well as the bong. Now, again, this is kind of the part of the video where I like to encourage everybody who is out there watching to join me. If you uh, smoking, dabbing, eating edibles, whatever it is that you're doing, hey, maybe it's a Friday night, Saturday night, and you're having a couple of beers while taking a couple of tokes. Oh, sorry, my backlight went off on me there. Let's fix that. Sorry. Um, but whatever it is that you're doing, please take a moment and uh, indulge with me. Let's uh, let's take a couple of tokes together and then uh, we'll talk about those things that I was mentioning, shall we? Cheers, everybody out there. Hmm. Does that taste match the smell? Does it have as strong of a flavor as it does an aroma? Well, before we talk about the taste, let's take a toke. Of course, I've got the Guns N' Roses bong loaded up. So let's fire this thing up again. If you're all out there having uh, whatever it is, let's do it again, shall we? I tell you what, that bong hit, hit really, really good. I tell you what, I got a pretty good head rush. I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling a little, pretty, I'm feeling a little stoned actually, to be honest with you. What was that? A couple of tokes out of the, uh, the purple pipe and then that bong toke. Well, that bong rip definitely hit really good. I didn't, wasn't feeling it so much before I took that bong rip, but immediately after taking it, I could feel it expand in my lungs. And as I was blowing it out, I caught that head rush, came out of that head rush, and yeah, I'm feeling a little stoned. Not super baked, not, you know, out of my mind stoned, but I'm already starting to feel that a little bit behind the eyes effect. Feeling happy, feeling uplifted. Now I'm jumping way ahead of myself and talking about the effects. We need to back up one second and go back to those flavors because, as I was saying before, is that taste going to match the smell of it because those smells were so strong and I tell you what it does it is so flavorful um, from what I've read online now get this this is what some people said online it is supposed to taste exactly like strawberries another site said like strawberry milk sweet and pug pugnant now I didn't get quite get the strawberry flavor definitely did not get the strawberry milk flavor 
But I tell you what, it was very sweet, citrusy, very gassy. Um, all in all, it had a really good flavor. And like I said, it was really strong. So taste, uh, smell, look-wise, hey, I think so far for 2024, we're off to a really good start with this strain. It's definitely, at this point, getting a thumbs up from me. What do you all think? Does it deserve a thumbs up? If it does... Hey, take a quick moment. Hit that like button. You already knew I was going to talk that talk about that, right? So let's just take a quick moment, do that. Let's hit that like button. There we go. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you as thank you as well. I appreciate all of you doing that. It means a lot to me. Thank you. Thank you as well. Um, all the likes mean so much to me. And of course, I've always said this before. Um, if you have something to say, please leave a comment down below. If you leave a comment, as long as I get the notification from YouTube. I will respond back to you. Sometimes it takes me a little while, but eventually I do get around to responding to everybody. So please take a moment and do that. Other ways that you can, of course, show your support is checking out my dance420chronicles.com slash shop, where you can get your own Dance 420 wear. Lots of t-shirts. Um, of course, we are uh, in the chilly time right now. How about that deep freeze we had a few weeks ago? Um, boy, that was cold, right? Perfect time to put on a Dan's 420 hoodie. And I've got tons of them to choose from, so check them out. Take a moment, pick one up. It means a lot to me, and of course, it helps me continue to do these videos for all of you. So please, take a moment and do that. I appreciate that. Um, there's my promotional part is in my video. Going back to what we were talking about before I started to feel those effects and kind of went on a little tangent, um, let's talk about those effects, shall we? Um, as far as what other people have reported. As far as what I read online, people said that they felt uh, energized, relaxing, happy, calm, euphoria, and sleepy. Now, I'm definitely not feeling sleepy. I am definitely feeling very happy, feeling uplifted. All in all, I just feel good. Honestly, I'm feeling def uh, feeling more of a head high than I am a body high. So in my opinion, I definitely think this is a sativa dominant hybrid just because of the effects that I'm feeling at this moment. Like I said, it's definitely more of that head high. Don't get me wrong. Feeling a little bit of a body high, feeling a little nice and chill, but mostly feeling that head high. Definitely feeling good. Hey, hopefully all of you out there are feeling good as well. So uh, there we have it. There were the effects. What else should we talk about? Medical uses? Can't forget the medical uses. Um, it's supposed to help with anxiety, chronic pain, depression, insomnia, and loss of appetite. Hey, you know what? I believe every one of those, um, that it helps not only with those ailments, but many, many more. So... There you have it. What did you all think of the first review of 2024? Again, hopefully you liked it. And if you did, you took a moment, hit that like button, or you left some comments down below. But as I mentioned earlier, a lot of new things coming in 2024, um, including um, new recipes, including more 420 projects, as well as more of these weed reviews and 420 product reviews. So hopefully you'll all stick around and uh, you know we will uh, go through this together. In the meantime, I probably won't be back until maybe late February with uh, something new for all of you, but I'll be back with uh, some new things definitely, and I'm excited to share that. So until then, I hope you all stay safe out there, Stoner family. And once again, thank you again for the support. Hey, have an awesome rest of your day, evening, weekend, whatever it is. Enjoy. I'll see you all soon.